After understanding all of the cases of the first order differential equations, it is suitable to solve them by using some numerical examples. And also we can summarize all three cases because they can be mixed up with each other so that we be able to remember them precisely and avoid any mixing. So let's start with the first example which is of the first case. As you can see if uh, we are giving a certain equation. Firstly we should focus on the value of b. It is equal to 0 so it's a homogeneous case. And then we can focus on the value of a which is minus 2 in this case. So we are clear that it is a homogeneous case and we can try to visualize it. So uh, we'll come to this diagram and we'll see that how this diagram befits the situation. But right now let's solve it. This is the given differential equation. This is the standard form of the differential equation. And a is equal to minus 2 and b is equal to 0. A homogeneous case is here because the value of b is 0. We know that the general solution of the homogeneous case is equal to this. We have derived this formula already and we need to val put the value of a which is the only unknown that we can substitute. So a is substituted here and we get this value. Now this is the general solution and if I uh, focus on it this exponential part shows that it is the deviation part that is complementary function. Whereas there is no value for yp, if we, if we write it as 0, it's also acceptable. It means that the equilibrium lies at 0. Now we can go back and see if this holds in the diagram. Here you can see it is t and this is y. This is the origin and at origin y will be equal to 0. So this is the equilibrium, that is the line on the x-axis is the equilibrium because it is equal to 0. And this green color line is the exponential part in which we can see that the value was exponent of 2t which is a positive value so there is an exponential growth in this case and this definitely means that it is going away and the deviation as you can see is increasing as we go ahead in time. So it is a divergent case, it is not a convergent case. We are moving away from the equilibrium. So this was the homogeneous case, it's economic, uh, it's a mathematical example. We can try to definitize it as well. These are the lines that are based on the diagram that we just understood. For the definite solution you know we need to in bring in the initial condition where t will be equal to 0. So we substituted it and once we did this we found the value of a and the value of a is what we want to put here in order to definitize the general solution. So once we substituted the value of a in the general solution we got this answer. This is actually the definite solution because the element of arbitrary constant is now removed from it. So this was the given homogeneous case of the first order differential equation which is now solved and we have a definite solution of it. Now we can take an example of the non-homogeneous case where a is not equal to 0. So we need to compare it in order to get the values of a and b. Here when we compare it with the standard form we get the value of a as 4 and b as 12. So we noted these values. It's a non-homogeneous case and a is also not equal to 0. So this is the formula of the general solution of the non-homogeneous case where a is not equal to 0. We should remember these formulas. Once we substituted the value of b and a and a we got this as the general solution. You can see that this is the complementary function showing the deviation from the equilibrium and this is the equilibrium itself. Now we can visualize it here. The equilibrium was 3 and here you can see the equilibrium line which is the red line is at 3. And this green line is showing the deviation and here it is exponent of minus 4t. So it means that there is exponential decay because the exponent is negative. 
and you can see that the deviation is declining as we are moving ahead towards uh, greater values of time so there is convergence in this case and the deviation is declining as we move ahead towards right now this was the general solution that we found but we can also find the definite solution simply by assuming the value of t is equal to 0 which is definitely the initial condition so this was the result the general solution in which we introduced t is equal to 0 and we found the value of a this is the value of a that contains the initial condition now in the general solution I'm putting this value and it will become this so in simple words this is the definite solution of the non-homogeneous case where a is not equal to 0 so this is how we have found the uh, answer of the second case the third case is again non-homogeneous but a is not a is equal to 0 in this case this is the given equation we can compare it with the standard form this is the given differential equation we are rewriting it to make it comparable with the standard form so we can write 0 into y here so that becomes comparable with this we get the value of a which is equal to 0 the value of b is already found to be 23 not equal to 0 which means a non-homogeneous case is here and a is definitely 0 in this case now this is the uh, general solution of the homogene non-homogeneous case with a equal to 0 here I can put the value of b and I will get the general solution this is the complementary function and this is the equilibrium now we should visualize it and before we go there this time equilibrium is a moving equilibrium because it has a variable in it that is variable t as the time goes it is going to increase 23 is the value of the coefficient of it and the deviation is a which is an arbitrary constant so here you can see the curve is a straight line as we have plotted it so it shows that the equilibrium is moving equilibrium and it is visible that you know as the time passes the equilibrium is going to move in a positive direction that is it is going to have a positive slope whereas the deviation is not known and neither determined because you can see that it is equal to a so that's why we are unable to make it in the diagram but we can do this once if we try to determine it for that you know that we can use the initial condition and that um, uh, initial condition can be used to find out the value of a now um, here again 0 0 instead of t is substituted and the value of a is the initial condition so we can uh, if we are given the initial condition that we can be sure about the numerical value however now we have determined that the value of the arbitrary constant is the initial condition so instead of writing a we can write y naught which we have done here and finally we get the definite solution of the non-homogeneous case where a is equal to 0 this was the equation that was given to us and this is the uh, solution that we have found now we have the uh, other part of the solution that is the complementary function and if we are given a numerical value we can plot it now after solving these it's a very useful table that I have developed here in which you can compare various components of the solutions so let us see summary of the homogeneous and non-homogeneous cases of first order differential equation here I have written the standard form of it and here um, I have noted the homogeneous case and then the non-homogeneous case now they are being compared that how, what is the value of a and what is the value of b what is the value of complementary function what is the value of particular solution and then what is the value of the general solution where t is not substituted equal to 0 
and what is the definite solution where the t is substituted equal to 0 to get the uh, arbitrary element out of the solution. So constant uh, coefficient and constant term, complementary function, particular solution, general solution and definite solution. We have listed them all here to compare the homogeneous and non-homogeneous cases. The first is the homogeneous case where a is not equal to 0 whereas b definitely is equal to 0 as you remember and this was the complementary function uh, and the particular uh, solution was not there. It was equal to 0 but we didn't write it so we wrote it as not applicable here where, uh, where it's uh, numerically speaking it's equal to 0 and then the general solution is also there. This is the general solution because it is the sum of the two and after substituting t is equal to 0 we got the definite solution of the homogeneous case. Now the non-homogeneous case is both 1 and 2. Uh, in 1 it was non-zero, in 2 it was uh, 0. In both of them b was non-zero because it is the non-homogeneous case situation. In this we had the we uh, gender uh, the complementary function equal to this and in this case the gen uh, the complementary function was a in this case the particular solution was b over a and in this case it was bt that is the equilibrium values and in this case the general solution was this and this was the general solution of the other case and then the def um, definite solution it was be uh, compared with the case where a is equal to 0 and the case where a is not equal to 0. Here if you put uh, any other value than 0 it will work but if it is equal to 0 that is a is equal to 0 then this will not work. In that case this situation will work. So this is how we can compare the three cases. We can numerically solve them as well and this should help us to be able to remember the three cases and deal with uh, any of these three cases whenever we are required to solve it. Thank you.